Christmas came early. <gasps> Ready for mask? <laughs> Max, get <laughs> off my slipper, bro. The three main benefits of mask are you can adjust when pushback kicks in. Dude, the motor just spun, is spinning on its own. It's calibrating. It's like the summon feature of Tesla. Whoa, dude, when you carve, it's you can feel the power in the car. This is crazy. Okay, this is really nice, guys. Oh my, I've never felt this before. Wow, okay, okay, dude. It, you can't fall. It's like you're balancing on that edge. Right. Woo, this torque. This torque is insane. Full speed, full speed, full speed uphill. Front nose dive. I'm actually trying to nose dive right there and it just won't give it to me. What's up? All right, I am back. Okay, hold on. <clears throat> What? <laughs> Back with another video. This is a very, very special one. I'm very excited. Check it out. The vest! A big shout out to Brian Cotton and all the other gurus behind making this because this is what we need right now. This is, we need an alternative to the GT. The latest firmware updates on the GT, yes, it is a big improvement. I get it. But still, it doesn't resolve the right to repair issue. So we need something customizable. We're gonna dig into this today. Nice. And the cherry on top, we're gonna put the Enduro with the Vesk. All right, this one can it be? <gasps> it's a controller. Nice. So this is all 3D printed by Brian. I think this took like almost 48 hours. You can see the detail in it. It's pretty darn accurate. Everything fits well. Inside is the vest control and I think it's only about like that big. I am so excited for this. They've been tweaking and refining the settings for this for, for quite some time. And then Hans, Hans is a rider from Switzerland. He's been testing this out rigorously. He's been like nudging me to be like, Max, you need to get on the vest train. And I'm like, eh, I don't know. GT's coming. We got the Growler, XR. I'm happy with those. So, but anyway, I cannot wait to try this out. So Sean, the lovely cameraman and the founder of Wheel Slip Services here in Santa Cruz is going to help me put this all together. But first, shoot, let's throw this bad boy on. <laughs> Ready for vest. <laughs> Max, get off my <laughs> slipper, bro! <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Let's dig into it! Is it literally supposed to be just plug and play? Yeah. How are we gonna do this thing? You never put in a controller? <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> literally just drop in a controller and all is good? Yeah, you just plug it in. All the hard work, I guess, has been done. I want to do red, white, and blue in the spirit of America. The latest and greatest tire for Float Life, the Enduro. Pairing with the vest should be very interesting. We separate this video into two parts so you can look at the tire testing and then also the vest, how it handles both on trails and tricking. It'll be a hybrid tire that can handle everything. Did you want rim savers on that? Oh! <laughs> Dude, we're so excited. <laughs> Forgot about it. Skipping steps here. Dude, that took one second to see. That was crazy. That was literally the fastest beat set I've ever seen. VESC stands for Better or Variable Electric Speed Controller, an open source platform where you can um, keep continuing to build upon the, the hardware, the software, uh, basically like, you know, like how it should be, right to repair. We need innovation. We need to realize the board's full potential and that's what VESC can do. From all the refining that the early adopters have done so far, I'm very hopeful, very excited to try this out and I hope you will consider it too. The three main benefits of VESC are repair options, open source, Ability to customize. Those are all things missing from the one wheel right now. The things that you can customize on the VESC 
app is endless. It's, it's mind boggling. So the app is called Desk Tool, and I'm not currently connected yet, but some of you may have seen the breakdown of it. It just goes into so much detail, it's insane. You can adjust uh, when pushback kicks in, how much the pushback is, you can adjust how high the tilt of the nose, tail. Man, I'm missing so much, but you can get to the nitty gritty of exactly how you want to tune your board. For me, it's a little overwhelming, but I feel I, once you, I guess, play around with the settings and figure things out, I think you're gonna find like the sweet spot of your exact ride. Nothing. Don't connect anything else. Don't connect anything else. So the question is: Is there any hazard of sequence of plugging things in? Because I know that's true in typical one world world. So can I plug in the battery directly into the harness and then plug that into the controller hot? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. That was my question. I'm 100 percent sure that if you're using a stock battery that that harness is going to flip it back for you so that it runs into the pocket correctly. I didn't, I didn't say No that. idea what they're saying. Oh, you should be good. And just plug in. And don't plug anything else in. So just full on take so, out the BMS, so, right? So, so don't plug anything into the things that don't matter. Okay. So, mm -hmm. Easy peasy. And you won't have, you yeah, won't have easy. life. There are life options. So Sounds good. Yeah, we're on the same page. That was it for now, thank you. Okay. Thanks, Brian. Dude, did not understand anything you guys just said right now. <laughs> I just want to ride the board. <laughs> Thank goodness for shop guys like Sean and all across the country. So I have no patience to work on my boards like past bumpers or foot pads. Like getting into it, man. Okay, so an option of Vesk is you can bypass the BMS. There's several reasons for that. One is if the voltage is too high and the current, like the stump pack has more voltage and amps than a stock battery, uh, it could fry your BMS. Essentially, I'm gonna opt out of it. It's mainly about charging and running it down. So a BMS right. limits the high and limits the low. Mm -hmm. Well, most Vesk riders go without a BMS, especially you want to get the full power out of your motor and the Vesk controller, you have to go with more than a stock battery to enjoy that power. And everyone recommends a stump pack or an 80 volt battery, which is down the road. Uh, but bypassing the BMS is pretty much the only way to do that. Fully assembled, we're about to turn it on. However, before the moment of truth, I realized and learned that, well, there's no headlights for Vesk. As of now, there is no current Yo -yo. slot or mold Yo -yo. in the uh, in this prototype Vesk cover. So something to keep in mind, I'm sure that's easily fixable down the road. But right now I get a big, uh, Grinning teeth mm. for headlights. All right, I'll see how we're doing. Okay, we have live. Put in a stock battery. Now we are going to connect to the Vesk app. Back up motor and app configs. Back up. Okay. You're successful. Very nice. Then run motor detection wizard. One set up motors. Your default settings. Didn't he say no. no? He says no. Reset. No. Wow, you can invert motor direction. Your battery Reset specs. It? Roughly 290 millimeters. Yeah, he says we have to uh, put in the amps. So six amp hours. That's yeah. right here. 15 S and whatever amps. By the number of vesks. No idea what that means. It's crazy. Dude, the motor just spun. It's spinning on its own. It's calibrating. I'm going to set you down. Don't run away like the GT. Let me point it at Sean. Just aiming at the most expensive thing. Whoa, this feels crazy. It's very, it's very fluid. I don't know how to describe it, but you guys gotta feel this. Holy shit. Whoa, there's no motor crunch. You know, the hall sensor thing, it's very smooth. 
Wow. It's just so, uh, I don't, just smooth is the word. Yeah. Same. There's no, you can't even hear the, the mm -hmm. crunching sound. Okay, this is, whoa, dude, when you carve, it's, you can feel the power in the carve. This is crazy. Okay, this is really nice, guys. Oh my God. Like when you, when you're accelerating in the turn, you can feel the torque. I've never felt this before. Let's get that sucker charged up and go ahead. Whoa, it's like I'm right, like I can't fall over. Okay, here, Alex, you, you try this. Same way. <laughs> wow, wow, okay, okay, dude. Get some first reaction. Ride on the sidewall and then like accelerate into on the sidewall, on the shoulder. Oh yeah, it like rips you around. Yeah, it's like For you can't sure. you can't tilt yeah, over, right? Like... You feel how smooth it is? Yeah, I can definitely feel it pull you through that corner car. Mm -hmm. that Vast baby. This is what we've been missing out on. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. It's, you can't fall. It's like you're balancing on that edge. <laughs> right. I don't know how it's doing that. I'm gonna get dizzy. Sean, try it out, dude. Check this out. Oh. <laughs> Got a little extra confident with. Let's try that again. You don't even know what happened. What you laughing at? Check this. <laughs> no crunching. No motor crunching at all so so buttery smooth very rubber bandish very efficient The new updated settings, it's feeling really nice on trail, super buttery, nice and flowy. I need to test it at higher speeds to see if it's going to be nose dipping. So far, I'm really loving this feeling. Very exciting. Super responsive on carving, quick movements. So far, everything feels like an XR, an improved version of XR and equivalent torque to GT. I'm digging it.
speed, full speed, full speed uphill. actually try to nosedive right there and it just won't give it to me nuts it gives you so much confidence because like it doesn't even dip definitely when you're pushing the acceleration uphill you will for sure know when the nose surges and dips but for with this you just don't feel that it really feels like the GT equivalent dare I say slightly more torque you guys will have to just try it and be the judge for yourselves. But so far, uh, I'm just being as unbiased as I can and I'm loving it, I'm loving it. The thing is that it feels fluid, fluid, powerful, and efficient. All combined together gives you a smooth, consistent power band, which is different than the GT or the XR. You will feel the power band dip. But anyway, great feedback so far great experience gonna test it more but as it is now i highly highly recommend you guys try it it's only a couple hundred dollars for the controller instead of buying a whole, you most of you probably already have xr parts laying around you just need rails foot pads battery and bms is optional tire and you're good to go you can decide on either a stock battery which is what i'm running or a chai battery jwxr uh, stunt pack they don't sell those anymore and then the 80 or 84 volt batteries that are becoming available as well so there's so much unlocked potential that i haven't even experienced yet but i'm so happy that i'm trying the lowest power and getting the very most out of it and then working my way up from there and i think it'll be a good good way to uh, level up and compare from the bottom to the highest. I hope you guys enjoyed this. More videos coming. Let me know what you guys want to see, what you guys think, and next video coming very soon. Catch you on the next one. Happy floating.